my god guys it has started i actually forgot the pain of it I should really start preparing this video, these videos, these videos because I always sit here and I am absolutely clueless and never really know what to say and then I end up having to like edit out like 40 minutes worth of the video of me just sitting here thinking or doing something silly. <laughs> what I need to start doing though is start filming through the day because this lamp is so annoying and when I film through the day I can just open the blinds and everything just looks a lot better whereas when I film like this everything just seems to look orange so I'm gonna have to just film when the light is out, the sun is out, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna film through the day today but because it was my partner's birthday and we had people coming over um, I couldn't film because I would usually film like if William's going to bed he usually goes down about half one um, so when William goes to bed, that's when I have time to make a video because he's no downstairs or he would just run into the bedroom and um, decide to make a vlog out of it. But um, yeah, so I can probably start making them through the day now. So yeah, I am 23 weeks pregnant and I was going to make a 22 weeks pregnant video on Sunday since I'm going to make these every Sunday. And um, yeah, I was going to make one on Sunday, but because we had guests over, I ended up just not making it. And then I thought that um, nothing had really changed since the last video, so I didn't really want to make a video just to sit here and talk about stuff that I had already talked about in my pre previous video. So I decided just to wait and see how I got on until now. <laughs> so that's me at 23 weeks now. Like I said, I never ever know what to talk about in these videos. I just, I just want to sit and talk about everything, but then the videos end up being too long. But um, as for the symptoms, oh my god, there's actually quite a few. This is weird. Anyway, um, yeah, my headaches haven't been as bad lately. Um, apparently you're meant to feel more energised in like this part of your pregnancy but I've actually been feeling tired lately and I actually slept today and um, I had a little cut nap because I was just so tired I just could not stay awake and it was weird because I didn't get up until like 10 or 11 this morning and then I needed a nap at 5 so um, I don't have as much energy as I thought. There's another thing that started happening um, I noticed my hair was falling out but I always just ignored it. I thought it was because I damaged it that much the last time that I dyed it blonde. But then I thought that was kind of weird because my hair grew out completely because it got cut that many times. Um, yeah, pretty much fell out after I dyed it blonde and so that's all just like healthy hair that should grow be growing back. So um, I found it kind of weird how my hair was falling out because it's meant to be after your pregnancy that your hair falls out. And then I noticed that my eyelashes were falling out as well, so obviously I googled it and um, apparently it's something to do with low protein levels, so I had beef for dinner tonight. Another thing that I'm getting that I don't think I got with William is Braxton Hicks. I think they started two days ago and I was actually quite worried. I had to google when Braxton Hicks should start and it does say on the internet that they can start around 20 weeks, so um, yeah, I was quite glad because I thought that was quite early but maybe not maybe it's just because I never got them the first time and it was just so weird I think they started two or three days ago and yeah it just feels like your stomach's tightening it's like a contraction but without the actual pain well I didn't have any pain it's just quite uncomfortable because you can just feel your whole stomach tighten and it's just like mm. I don't even know if you can see anymore no I think he stopped doing it now but he was actually sitting on the right hand side of my belly today and it was actually quite sore I think part of him was under the belly button and it was like making my belly really sore and yeah I went for a bath and stuff to try and get him to move because when I was pregnant with William when I was in the bath he would go crazy and start kicking and stuff 
But um, yeah, he did wriggle about a few times, but he never actually moved properly. And he was just, you could just see my belly and like this side was kind of sticking up more than this side. And it was actually quite painful. Oh my God, guys, it has started. I actually forgot the pain of it until now. Yeah, so basically my breasts have started leaking now. <laughs> it's horrible. Not really, but um, yeah, this it does feel kind of weird to have your breast breasts leak milk. Like it's just weird. I don't know, but they have started yesterday, I believe. Um, I think there was a time in the bath two days ago or three days ago. I was just sitting there and I was positive that um like something came out my breast but then I just kinda ignored it. But um yeah I was right so we started yesterday so this is the beginning of the fun journey and we know that the baby could arrive anytime. Well it can arrive anytime but we don't really want him to arrive just quite yet. Oh my god, I almost forgot to add it. This has actually got nothing to do with pregnancy, but it kind of does. But anyway, wait a minute. Here they are. There we go. Probably wondering what it is. Well, if we open it up, we have little eggs. Actually, I can't show you because they're just going to end up falling out. But yeah, these are little crested gecko eggs, and for those of you who don't know what that is, they're just like little lizards. Like, pretty cool little lizards. Yeah, so these were laid on the 1st of April. <laughs> kind of a joke, eh? but it's no. <laughs> but these were laid on the 1st of April, so these are due to hatch. <sighs> May? No, not May. June, kind of June, July time. So it'll be kind of funny because the lizard is actually gonna lay eggs every four weeks from the date that she laid them eggs. She's gonna lay them like every four weeks now. So by the time our baby's here, we're gonna have like loads of lizards as well. So this is pretty much it. So let's just get straight to the belly shot. And hello belly. I think I actually wore this t-shirt the last time I made a video. I really like this top. It's quite comfy. So this is the belly from the front. And this is the belly from the side. I might just do this. My, ba my belly gets so hairy when I'm pregnant. It's actually quite funny. And here's my belly. You can see the light reflecting in it. It's quite funny. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention I haven't got any stretch marks yet. Ow, I just got a kick. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got any stretch marks yet. So that's good. Oh, that wasn't a stretch mark. That's, that's just me. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much what the belly looks like now. It's weird to think that the baby should be here in around 17 weeks. So yeah, that's the baby. Bye guys.